I don't think you're going to be disappointed. These two were absolutely amazing. Come on, put your hands together. Sally Osborne, We're going to start off with a little song that features the ukulele. Um, there's not very many songs that we do that feature the ukulele. Um, I feel thankful for that. This is one of them. Um, should we just do it? Yeah, well, we've heard you singing, so you won't know our songs, but you can sing them all. This has got a very easy chorus, apart from the fact that it changes very slightly every time. Now it's famous for having a historic dockyard. Um, 
And uh, this is a song that we wrote 20 years ago when, when it was the 20th anniversary of the closure of Chatham Dockyard. Um, this year is the 40th anniversary of the closure of Chatham Dockyard, which is a little bit sort of, I don't know, it sinks in, doesn't it, when you think, God, where was, where's all that time gone? Anyway, this is a song that we wrote called No Ships. Sails made for Henry Tudor Ships for Horatio, flags for the colonies, and rope to pull us home. Salt in the grains of Chatham, and tar beneath our fingernails. Generations, man and boy, but the story's old. Chatham apparently was very famous for back in the day was its ladies of the night so it was said that you know there was quite a bit of competition when the when the you know the, the ships came in they used to have little sort of um, lots of discussion about which particular ladies of the night they would be seeking out in Chatham anyone got anything to share on this <laughs> Lady of the Night, who um, used to walk the streets of Chatham in Victorian times, and they called her Flying Isaac. Um, we thought she deserved a song. We've also christened our camper van. We would see, we've got Flying Isaac because it's the name of our van. Um, because we thought, you know, we know quite a bit about her because she was always getting arrested um, and getting her name in the paper. Our old friend Flying Isaac, arrested again for drunkenness and riotous behaviour. Have you heard of Flying Isaac, the Queen of New Brompton? She was the sailor's joy. She 
asked him for a shilling, and she would be willing with a captain or a cabin boy. She'd take them to the churchyard, she'd lie down on a tombstone. The Chatham girls' romance, when she satisfied their cravings, she would have away their savings without a second glance. Here we go. Are we talking Chatham? <laughs> the landlord of the Crown said he didn't want her custom. She had no means to pay. She said she'd pay in kind, but he kicked her behind and told her, just go on your way. Oh, but she was unbowed as she turned to the crowd like a ship. A bloody scandal, and they put her in the jail. You got it now, haven't you? Oh, up and down the brook she goes. Hello, sailor, what you know? Flying eyes and bones brass. Oh, up and down the brook she goes. Hello, sailor, what you know? You want to buy a lady a glass. This is a very tricky guitar solo that Brian sung on the not allowed to distract him when he doesn't normally stop a local. Sometimes he, I'm not gonna look at him. Sometimes he puts on his guitar face. You know how they do. I don't know what that's all about. judge in all her glory to pay for her disgrace. The judge sat way up high and she looked him in the eye and she said, don't I know your face? <laughs> and the courtroom was amused at the sight of the accused watching old Judge Brown Shane. actually was already for sale at, um, I think it was March or April 2020, so timed perfectly for a global pandemic. So um, anyway, we still like it. This is a song called My Backyard, which is a song, it's a view of the world from, um, from our back door, really. So I like to think of our garden as a sort of microcosm of the world. That's what I think it's about. Brian thinks it's about something completely different, but that's not the enemy. We share the house, I'll get the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Tree. I have tulips from Siam and an Acer from 
Japan. A jacaranda coming here, I think from Yucatan. They have beauty and delight to my garden here, despite they don't belong in the cold sunlight. But now we have the Russian vine that's crossed the line and choked my old oak tree. The Asian hornets heartlessly kills our honeybees. And honey, that's too much for me. I'm not philosophizing, I've no expertise. The laws of nature are pretty strange to me. And I'm not thinking very hard, it's just my view from my back step in my own. To this isle, for some have flown a thousand miles, left everything they knew just so their family can survive. The parakeets display a flash of colour in the grey. They're calling in a foreign tongue, I think they're here to stay. And the nightingales still come, keep their secrets all day long. And we're blessed when they share their song. shakes my old oak tree and I can't trust the jealous crow who seems to know where oak trees stand more acorns grow well I'm no ornithologist and that's a fact you'll have to ask at more of her stuff like that and I'm not thinking very hard it's just my view from my back step in my own Got engaged in 62, got married in the open in a nice pale 
blue. It all went sour, to say the least. I was stuck in that bagelli with a sex crazed beast. And on wedding night, I heard a cough. There was Harold in the doorway with his jabbers off. I said, look here, I must be blunt. I couldn't give a beggar on the whole sex front. Not me, not my scene. I prefer a game of rummy and an oval teen. Harold, dear, now do get dressed. I've seen one in a book and I was not impressed. <laughs> Well, army boots and braces, but I didn't think twice. Then one night she seemed upset. I said, Are you not happy in my raisinette? She downed her rum and baby sham on her fingers through her crew cuts and I love you, Pam. I didn't faint, I didn't scream, I just carried on demolishing my custard cream. She said, Please come upstairs with me. Let me show you just how wonderful a love can be. But don't be late, there's a thing by Alan Bennett on at half past eight. So up we go, and off she went. But the only thing that happened was my specs got bent. Not me, we didn't gel. I prefer a game of rummy and a Ruth Rendell. Joan, dear, now do get dressed. No woman over 40 suits are most really best. <laughs> Then last year, to beat the blues, I booked myself a cabin on a ten-day cruise. So much to do, so much to see, with loads of other women who look just like me. Then one night, I clicked like that, with a bachelor called Billy in a golfing hat. We were so happy holding hands, listening to a lecture on the prostate gland. <laughs> I told him sex had been no go, but he it is a challenge as we went below. We hugged and kissed without delay. Then he tried to take my brain hood off. I said, no way. He said, I bet you ten whole pounds. I bet you have an orgasm when I'm around. He got stuck in. He really tried. But I only felt a tremor down my left hand side. Not me, not my boast. I prefer a bit of iron and a round of toes. Billy dear, now do get dressed But he just fell over moaning as he clutched his chest <laughs> Billy's dead, he died for me They took him on a stretcher as I drank my tea And as I poured another cup I thought, I never had that orgasm, I'm too Inimitable Victoria Woods. <laughs> this is a new song from us. We don't have many new songs these days. This is a song that we've written this year. Um, and it's um, we wrote this when we were having these conversations about the fact that you know we got you know we all know that money makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round. But you know it seems that. It's sort of all tipped upside down these days, and it's nothing happens unless somebody's making money out of it. Nothing happens. I know there are exceptions to that, particularly in the sorts of worlds that we often sing in and perform in, and you know. But on a bigger level. So we wrote this song. We don't really know what it's called. I think it's just called Money Man. Yeah. 
Ten old groupers, it's all the same. Get enough of 
Would it be a crime of passion if I hired an assassin? I've got murder on my mind. You may think I'm too extreme. I should just walk away, walk away. I could just pack my bags and leave and give myself a holiday. <laughs> but I hate to contemplate that he might enjoy the break. Drink. So I'll just stay and face my fate with murder on my mind. I've got murder on my mind Electrify his favourite chair And watch him sizzling sitting there Serve him toxic marmalade Or turn the remote control into a hand grenade Drown him in the tub Put landmines on the road down to the pub Or do you think I ought to just forget I've got murder on my mind Do you think I ought to just forget this slaughter? I've got murder I've got murder I've got murder on my mind Thank you very much. <laughs> this next song is a. Um, I've got time, so we've got a couple more. Is that about right? Yeah. Um, we did a. Um, at Broadhurst Folk Week last year, we, we did a show. Um, with some friends of ours, uh, which was called Two Rivers, and basically it was about uh, we live we live on the Medway um, in Kent, and they come from London and sort of lived around the Thames. And the show that we did was sort of um, it sort of told the story of the, the Thames and the Medway in songs, and about how you know a lot of the people travel. Um, between those rivers, I guess, you know, a lot of people from Kent work and live in London, a lot of people from London end up retiring to Kent, so we're sort of the same tribe. So that was the sort of purpose of the song, but this is a song that we actually wrote for the show. And uh, there's two things that you need to really know um, about this song. So it's like a, it's a, it's like a uh, proper sort of folky, a folky love song, really. Um, but, um, the, the, the River Medway was the, is the dividing line, apparently, between whether you're a man of Kent, or a maid of Kent, and a Kentish man, a K Kentish maid. Um, we don't know why that is, and, you know, not very many people care, really, whether you're a maid of Kent or not. But, but often, when you say you come from Kent, people say, oh, well, are you a maid of Kent or a Kentish maid? <laughs> I'm a maid of Kent. Um, anyway, so that's so that's the that's the sort of there's a divide. Sorry, if you got fed up for playing. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing that the other thing that um, that is relevant to is that there there used to be a lot of um, cement works and uh, brick making along the banks of the River Medway, and the people. I quite liked it when you were playing. I didn't. Oh, quite so. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yeah. I wanted. The, that's it. Yeah. That's better. I'll tell you when you can stop. <laughs> Keep going until I tell you. Well, if I give you a look, at least do something different. Um, sorry. So the other thing is that there, and there was um, there was a, a workforce called the Muddies who used to be um, the men. It was all men who used to have to dig the clay out of the river banks to to go into making the sort of cement and the bricks. And um, and they were very, it was very very hard work and very dirty and they were very hard living, um, you know, 
hard fighting sort of workforce, the muddy, the muddy men. So this is this is um, this is a little love song. <laughs> I talk too much. On the west side of the river lived a muddy Kentish man, digging clay to make cement with muddy Kentish hands. And he loved the maid of Kent who lived beyond the eastern shore. Her father said the muddy was not good enough for her, cause she had cheeks as red as apples and a hot vine for a crown. And he was stained by mud that he had dug up from the ground. We'll cross the old medway with limestone, chalk and clay. We'll build a bridge that will always unite us or tunnel below like sappers and miners and never let the borderline define us. They pledge their love in secret far away from father's eyes Their star-crossed love was destined to be swept off by the tide And the maid of Kent was ready to elope and take her chance But the Kentish man was called to dig the trenches out in front Cherries on the east side of the land. Dream it. 
between the walls. I played the union. As times got harder, I looked to the government to help the working man. And they brought prosperity. Down at the armory, we're arming for peace, me boys, between. In my fellow man, theirs is a land of hope and glory, and mine is the green field and the factory floor. Theirs is a sky all dark with bombers, and mine is the peace we knew between the Between the walls, desert us not. We are between the walls.